Sit down. I know I have been a cock, but you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some Bakrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Arachnison. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Uba want? To grow old and fat on a farm somewhere with little Ubas to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. People change. It may be you change with them, or you go your separate ways. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. did we drink? I don't remember this at all. Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on.
Fram tolust är kunna in i staffen hejpa. Affär till loppa. Willkomma. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Chairwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, Forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet... I shall try! Ah! How simple it is! How easy to kneel without fear and feeling! He's mocking you, man! I'd kill the fucker! Worry not, Dane! I shall resign this crown and this pagan infested kingdom and the favors of these two faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... <coughs> you fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Forgive me, I, I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I'll I, I, I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king, a merciful king. God save the king! It better be worth all this trouble. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Eivor, you must save my son. He will come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheowulf. Go.
much longer, Jobs. to be tailbent. He is the only prize worth taking in this matter. You do not want to do this. Leofred, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofred. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofrid. Even if you defeat me, the Rachnesons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I am still standing.
strong-willed thane. Burgrid was lucky. To stand in the way of you and mercy is my duty. I will die before I yield. You cannot win! You're finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. How does it feel? to your guard, or your king. I swore an oath to serve Borgrid to the death. I fought, I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Borgrid abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leovrim, I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. You fought well, Leofred. With honor. You will go to your guard as you are now. I am ready. We Norse have a name for men and women with courage like yours. Drenge. I name you one now. <coughs> he didn't deserve this. He chose this. Come. We should get back. Careful. You're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Eivor. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden. Jailbird, this wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You are a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrid. Why did you see it fit to kill him? Leofrid was a fighter who knew the cost of war. He died defending an idea he believed in. True or not. There's some honor in that. I... I think I understand. and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Athling, I think you'd say. 
Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now, and everyone has gained something. Silver, honor, allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Cheobert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Atherling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the River Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolf Kist, as a sign of friendship. And should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Uba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well. Two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too. Brave little twig. That is good to hear. me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Hello. 
back soon, isn't it? Must be careful now. Eivor, have you seen Wallace? Ah, glad to see you made it, Chilbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lichestershire? The Alliance is one. 
The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Yalt's corner, and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. All you say is nonsense, Dag. Have I done something to raise your ire? Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. <laughs> with me! Oh! <laughs> 
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... So mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards! This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him, now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps.
do you see, Sunim? Can you remind me what you do here? If you need something tattooed, you come here and I do it. And you can bring me whatever designs you come upon too. But of course, no shop, no tattoos. Build something for us when you can, and then we'll get working. I'm off. Be well, friend. See you later, Hefor. What have you got for me today? That all for now? I must take my leave. So long. So long? Thank you, A4. This... This is the place we needed! Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, 
It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe, it's a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Uh, salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home.
Girl. 